You started already, didn't you? Yeah. You can tell by the red there. Bill Schwab, winebuys.com here. I'm here with Sherry from Ruby Corot, correct? That's correct. And this is her first one? This is actually my second release. Second release. Mm -hmm. How many times have you made wine? Twice. Twice? <laughs> Two years? <laughs> See, a lot of yes. people think, oh, winemakers have been making wine for 20 years. It's only done its job 20 times. That's nothing. <laughs> right. Right? Right? Exactly. Okay. And uh, you're talking about Grenache? Yes, yes. 100% Grenache this or a little blend? Actually, a little blend. Okay. This is 95% Grenache. And 5% Syrah. Oh, excellent. The uh, uh, sort of Southern Rome blend. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to catch this label too because the label's sort of, sort of neat there. My usual cameraman, Tony, is, is out right now, so I've got a secondary cameraman, so the zoom probably wasn't as good as you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but the wine is very, very good. Thank you. So the label's my favorite. The label's your painting? The label is my painting. I knew that already, but I wanted to lead into it. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. I've a, I'm a, uh, been painting for a long time. So you're an artist? I'm an artist. An artist, winemaker, uh, web designer too, I just found out. Mm -hmm. Doesn't play World of Warcraft, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> a Renaissance woman. There we go. Mm -hmm. Bright floral attributes to the wine. Um, uh, I get a, a hint of chocolate and mocha in the background. Mm. And it really translates to the palate, like a dark chocolate wrapped around fruit. Um, I notice the back of the label says cherry. I get a little more raspberry bramble out of it than the cherry, um, but still dark chocolate wrapped around the sweet fruit core to it. Very, very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you getting those pressed rose petals too? Yeah, a, a floral attribute, definitely a floral attribute. Mm -hmm. A little crushed rose petal. And even a little cranberry too, I think. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious fruit. Um, now, uh, this is your second attempt. Mm -hmm. You just were entered in a winemaking competition, though, correct? Yes, actually, for the first uh, the first one that I did, um, I entered in the National Women's Winemaker Competition. Excellent. Apparently, there were 1,400 wines entered. 1,400 wines. And Ruby came in in the top three overall. Well, and women know how to make wine? Ah, uh, that's a little slight there. Some of the, <laughs> women are some of the greatest winemakers in the world. Um, uh, I can think of Helen Turley off the top of my head, Heidi Barrett off the top of my head, fabulous. Cherry. Off the top of my head. <laughs> um, we're looking at about $35 a bottle here. Now, with Tony being gone and not crunching the numbers, um, I'm shooting from the hip here, and I think I can squeak it down. Uh, so I've got the winemaker here, and I've got the supplier here. We might be able to squeak it down to the $30 range. Uh, we're going to try to get it $30, $31, knock off a few bucks, and maybe we can even ship it to you for free. Mm -hmm. Put together four, five, six bottles, we'll ship it to you free. You'll know the offering when it comes out, but um, it, it's it's great juice at 35 bucks. If we can get it down to 30, even better, even better. Thank you very much for coming to see us. Excellent, and thank, thank you, you very much.